Over the past couple of weeks, I've had a few people ask me how the hydraulics are set up on my Farmall M and Farmall H. Stay tuned, we'll talk about it. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at this. And you can see there was a valve put on this coming right out of the tank. This is where you're going to add the hydraulic fluid. I run Hytran in all my equipment. Now, back in the day, I believe they called for 30 weight oil in these, which, uh, you know, they, they ran what was available. Uh, Hytran is going to be about a 10 weight oil. The one thing that I have noticed with the Hytran is that the longer you run it, the hotter it gets in these machines, uh, the less pickup it's got. Now, this is a 1940 Farmall M. So right out of the factory, this pump would have been 500 PSI. The later models, um, and I'm not sure what year that was. I don't know what the breaking point was. You get that wire off of there. I've been tinkering around with the wires. Um, I don't know what year that was. If you do know the year they went to 800 PSI, put it in the comments down below so we can all know and share your knowledge, please. So, this was uh, put on this is it's a valve and basically how it is most of them have I you see that don't have them they just have the one pull rod so this so this top one's gonna allow the release or the closure of the hydraulic fluid itself and this is going to be on and off okay now let's go look at the other side because you can see here of course I painted it red but it's actually a black hydraulic hose coming into this this uh, valve all right so here it is um eli andrew um you said both of these are plugged on your m and they should be now the back one is the one that is obviously being used as you see you come up around and this hose goes right into that valve on the other side so it's coming out of the back and that's it pretty simplistic um, like I said, this is a 1940, so it's not got a lot of lift to it, but it's got enough that uh, I can get the job done. Now, if you saw in a previous video, one way to cheat the hydraulics when, say, you got 500 PSI is to get a bigger cylinder. And let's go look at that cylinder now. All right, so this is a 4 by 8 inch cylinder. And uh, this was in a previous video. Oh, man, it was almost a year ago. And I had... Uh, at most a two inch cylinder on here which was fine for the 56 series type hydraulics they'll blast that right up but I couldn't lift this uh, 370 up with my M so I went and got a four inch cylinder and now it lifts and lowers it with ease and uh, so that's just one way to cheat your hydraulics give them a little extra boost let's go look at the H okay so the H is set up a little bit different as you can see still got the filler pipe here and whatnot same spot um, this is a 1949 uh, H for all you new viewers but it's coming out of this side here instead of the other side same side so <clears throat> you got the the same switch goes back and this and that and the other thing but instead of having two pull rods you got a lever right here on this valve and then it comes out of this this valve comes down around onto the deck and out the back um, I didn't set this up in fact I've never even used it they've got it bolted right to the fender uh, it looks like a really good setup but I haven't flushed the uh, system yet and I don't want to cross contaminate um, a lot of people are not afraid to use cheap hydraulic fluid and uh, therefore you know maybe they'll go to tractor supply and buy the the you know you get five gallons for $29 deal I no longer run that. I did it once and, and destroyed a hydraulic system in a David Brown 1200. Just a fact. But anyways, we won't get into that. I do run Hytran in these. We're going to see how this thing operates. I got big plans for this H, and uh, they, they include, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this farm all H, and I'm going to plant one whole field with it, probably a 10-acre field, you know. I'm going to do the plowing, the disking. Um, I'll call the mulch with a different tractor. And then the planting, of course, with, with a grain drill 
and whatnot. So I'm pretty pretty stoked about that. I have not flushed this out yet. This is a 1949. I'm guessing around this time frame is when they put the new and improved pumps in, or maybe they went to 800. Again, if you know what year or breaking point that was, please let me know. But this is pretty much how it's set up on the farm all tractors. And you can see the back here. Got this plugged off. Keep a lot of dirt and stuff out of there. You don't want dirt in your pump or anything like that. So, you know, and whoever set this up decided everything was going to be one stop shop on this same side. We'll go around to the other side here. And you see here, both, both uh, these holes here are plugged. We're on the M. This one is the one that uh, is, is drawn the. This is the side that's drawn the fluid out on the M. So set up a little different. Same concept. Still have two levers, so to speak. Um, just where those levers are and how they operate exactly are a little bit different. So you can run it 10 ways. looks like 10 ways to Sunday and still get a good, uh, good little hydraulic system on these old farm all tractors. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll see you at the next video.